Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I feel like we're almost done with this game. Um, according to the game, we've seen every single area. We've seen a lot of bosses. We killed a lot of bosses, including the one that was over here. We killed giant monkeys. We've killed giant snakes. We killed a fish. We killed... Um, an old woman, several drunken men, we killed... Damn, we killed a lot of things. We killed a freaking fire demon. But, right now, Ashina Castle is still under siege. But, last time we found a scroll indicating that there is a black mortal blade. And that is what I want to try and find out first today. If I can. Because, of course, I'm trying to do this as blindly as possible, so I'm not looking up anything. But they were talking about... And music's kicking in. They were talking about a sacrifice. And the only sacrifice I know of... The spear guy actually moved on top of the bridge, apparently. Is over there, to that white area to the sides. So, let's go and check that out. To see if we can't make an offering now at that shrine. So, this shrine over here. This shrine was the location of... I think there's absolutely nothing. There was an item here, but this is pretty much the only shrine I can think of that you can make an offering to. Oh. They repaired the bridge. That was probably the easiest way of getting back in there, because I defeated the mini boss over there. <laughs> okay, but first, let's go and check out that shrine. But, let's go across the bridge. We saw the spear guy already sitting there, waiting for us. But he has his back turned to us. And I can actually eavesdrop on him now. Let's do that. Namu Amida Butsu. Forgive me, but nobody would put their life on the line for free. Alright? So, how do I make my escape? Hmm. So wait, did he kill everybody? I feel like he killed everybody. There we go. Might as well kill him back then. There we go. Got some money out of that as well. Quite a bit actually. If I would just respawn and backstab him constantly, that would be a nice upgrade. But, the shrine down here. There's a few monkeys normally. Unless they've been murdered as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, never mind. Just gonna go to the shrine. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Okay, I jumped into something I shouldn't have. Woo. Got shot at. So, yeah, they definitely killed. <laughs> okay, this is nice to see. So, these guys actually killed the... Swordsmen that were attacking them, but this is a problem. There's way more than I expected, and they're dual wielding. Oh yeah, and I killed myself. Oh yeah, that's instant death even. Great. Goodbye. So aside from those two shrines, because there wasn't anything right next to the monkeys, we did get Unseen 8, so I'm not going to waste it. Um, and it might be something for another playthrough, because I don't know what other shrine there might be. Because I haven't seen any ways of sacrificing anything to anyone, aside from those few shrines. So, are there any enemies over here? I'm just curious, because there might be new items, and this area wasn't actually too big, so... I think the music kicked in, but I think it's for the people on the bridge? Yeah, they're definitely shooting at something. They're shooting at each other. So the red guys are still attacking, but it's on the other side of the bridge. So the only thing I really want to check is... This house. Doesn't seem that anything has changed. I don't see any items in the distance either, so... I'm just gonna leave it like that, okay? I don't mind if I do. I'll gladly take the experience of those guys. But... But, 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 the other way to this might actually lead to somewhere interesting. So these guys are all uh, dead or crying. 
But I can get another free 100 coins by killing that guy again. There we go. Killing his ass. Give me that money. If I recall correctly, this didn't actually lead anywhere. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he scared the shit out of me. Holy shit. He just came out of nowhere. F you, buddy. My heart rate just spiked there. <laughs> okay. 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 He was there. It's fine. I'm not dead yet. So this is the base of the tower. So there must be... Ooh, those are those two guys. That I fought before, but... Why are they facing in this direction? They should be facing in the other direction. That's one. Come on, buddy. There we go. <clears throat> and they're down. Okay, so we need to head down, technically. I'm wondering if there is another closer... Hello? Okay, that was just the armor. Okay. So that's where the flamethrower guy was supposed to be, right? Just gonna see what's happening there. So they're getting blown up. More items for me though. Is there anything to decide here? This guy is... That seems like a boss even. There we go. And there that guy goes. So I killed both of them rather easily. More sugar where that came from. They're fighting each other. To Teflon. This is awesome the way the level just happens around you. Um, so probably should get on the stairs because there doesn't seem to be anything else here. This is cool that the entire level just transformed. There's one of those big guys over there. The Tato Troop, or what were they called? Something like that. I think the Tato Troop. There's a lot of guys. There we go. That's one. Just need to be careful to get out of the way of that guy. There we go. Oh! So this guy is supposed to be the weakest. Jesus. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Oh, they're both weak. Never mind. There we go. That's a staircase cleared out. Ministry dowsing powder. And fulminated mercury. The central forces military might owes much to this tiny tweak of chemistry. But what was that dowsing powder? Ministry dowsing powder is slightly more effective than regular dowsing powder. It heals the burn status, reduces burn buildup, and reduces damage from incoming burn attacks. The ministry feared Ashina, her eyes bloodshot with the waters of rejuvenation. This powder acted as a ward for when the time came to turn flame to her walls. So they were bloodshot as well. So that means I might be able to use fire to my advantage here even. I'm actually gonna equip the... Uh, the fire umbrella again, because it seems like most of these guys actually use fire weapons. Now the question is, does this Sculptor's Idol still work? There's one over there. Is that the guy that saw me? You know what? You're, you guys are doing fine. You guys are doing fine. So don't mind if I'm just passing, passing by. There we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just annoying those guys now. Oh! I think there he goes. There we go. Jesus Christ, dude. Fuck all. If you want to annoy me, there we go. I just helped you kill that guy and you just stabbed me in the back for it. That was actually not a lot of money for those two guys. <laughs> Probably because they're technically optional. Uh, we've opened this up before. So that leads to the Moonview Tower, right? Or... Where the hell did this lead again? Oh yeah, the water pit. The water pit, okay. There's two more new items here, which is scrap iron and a possession balloon. I think I'm gonna rest at that idol. I think I can even drop down here, which is gonna be nice. Rest at the idol and then go check out the sculptor, well, where the sculptor was. Probably can't reach over there because it's on fire and that place is on fire as well. So this is another dead end now. So let's just rest at the sculptor's idol and travel to the sculptor. So we can buy the golden vortex, gather, il gather illustrious golden wind and release it to force enemies called up in the vortex to face the other way. It can be for performed twice in a row. Enemies that have been turned around to drop items or money to be considered donations. Okay, fair enough, I have plenty of materials for that. And now I'm lacking money to do anything else. But I can also do the sparking axe, which is basically a fire axe. Then the purple fume spark, and I won't have enough to do the lazulite axe. I'm gonna buy the axe and the fume spark, and now we're getting really close to ending this upgrade tree actually. But I need 2,500 coins for that. So there we go, the sparking axe meets out attacks bathed in flame from the axe's blade. Hitting the spark percussion hammer causes a violent eruption of flames and increases the effective area of the attack. This is both a firearm and a heavy axe. There we go, and we can use that just normally probably. Oh, we can do a whirling strike by holding it. That is actually really cool. And then the purple fume spark, an upgraded firecracker that uses a purple smoke emitting compound gunpowder. The tweak compound gunpowder is known as Purple Fume Spark. The addition of fatty wax lumps delays the explosion slightly. Enemies blinded by the blast take slightly more vitality and posture damage for a brief period of time. That is awesome. And then we're completely out of money again. So uh, gonna have to wait for the rest later on. There's actually a ring here that is required for the malcontent, but I don't know where to find that ring. I'll have to see about that. Okay, so we're back on the bridge. Apparently the enemies spawn higher up. So they're looking at me, but they don't really care about me. I'm gonna go past these guys. Going down here doesn't help me. So I need to get into the building they're fighting in front of. There we go. Let's go inside. And then I think I can just drop down. And through this gate, yeah, there's a sculptor's idol. Close to the moon view tower. There's a the moon view tower. So commune with this. Now, you can eavesdrop again. Okay, that's gonna be a problem because those guys, those guys are double trouble. Ooh, this is gonna be an issue. Because those guys, they're not, they're just together, are they? Um, cer ceramic shards, will that work? L l like this or something? I don't think they care. So he's oh he's turning around, he's turning around. Oh crap, they don't care. Um, I hated this guy before. Ow! That was not what I wanted to do. Oh, there's gonna be a problem. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be a big problem. <laughs> you 
Yeah, okay. So, that's gonna be impossible. So he's burning. But, come on, he just instant kills me. Ooh, this is gonna be a problem. Yeah, I don't even know what happened. He just tossed me up in the air. Ooh, crap. Ah, I used pallets. Why did I use pallets? Jump, jump! Haha, <laughs> fuck off. Get out. I need to dodge into it. I can do it, but... There we go, and I can't do the ninjutsu, that's sad. I'm gonna swap over to the umbrella, and see what I can do with that. Come on, some Mickey, Mickey recounters. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go, that's the first one. It was mostly the umbrella. There we go. Viva the umbrella. Holy shit, die you asshole. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was that took me 3 45 minutes. That was ridiculous. Oh my god. But yeah. If you can chain your Mickey counters like 5 times in a row, you can't get his boss shoot down. But holy shit, that was difficult. And now the shit is on fire. So I probably have to go that way, but that tree branch is also on fire. And uh, we get some more fulminated mercury, which is good for the upgrades, but... Otherwise, I have no idea where to go. Probably over here then. We need to get over there somehow. Ah, oh, we can grapple onto that. But, let's first use those four prayer beads. And enhance our physical attributes, I suppose. 
There we go. Lone shadows are the interior ministry's most trusted engines. Each of leader Masatsuna Oribe's 17 born has a specialty from poison to shinobi hounds. And we've seen that actually. Each of them, the purple guys, have their special abilities. Because we've seen poison with the kicks, we've seen the dogs gathering around. So that's actually a nice detail. But I want to just move a bit further. Now, of course, this guy is still here, but I'm, I'm not going to care. I'm not going to care. I'm totally not going to care. There we go. There we go. I don't care about you. I don't care about you. So now, we need to jump. Because I don't think I can even grapple onto something like that. There we go. Grapple onto this. And then we can head all the way up. But I don't think I can even reach the bridge from here. Can I pull myself up? No. Ooh. That was not what I wanted to do. There we go. Wanted to see what's on the other side of the bridge first. So over here... Because we're pretty much where we need to be. Down there is where we need to be. All the way down there. And there's the sculptor's idol even. And I don't think I'll be able to get on top of the bridge. Because both ends were in flame. So let's drop down. With this fancy music still playing. Because you think I'm in a boss fight. I'm not. Definitely not in a boss fight. There doesn't seem to be a single enemy over here. Which means that we probably... <laughs> Need to head straight in. So let's rest over here. I'm just gonna rest to reset the music as well, because otherwise that's gonna stop the music, right? There we go. Calming down. How the hell do I even have money? Ah, probably because the bosses themselves dropped money. Um yeah, I'm gonna head in there, am I? Aren't I? I need to head in there. So, just a little peek behind the curtain, I'm actually recording this section a few days later, because last time I had to stop because of time constraints, but I didn't want to stop the episode just there, so we're going to head in in a second. But uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, today it's uh, 41 fucking degrees Celsius outside, so I'm going to be sweating for this, which is probably going to be the final boss fight. So, let's open that up and go back to where we started the game. Where we lost our arm. This is gonna suck. Okay. Okay, so back out into that flowery field. Which might or might not be on fire. And it sounds like it is. Or the fires are just above us. Okay. What was that? Oh, that was me bumping into the rocks. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's Kurovin's stat. Wait, he he couldn't bleed. He couldn't bleed, could he? Shinobi of the Divine Air, we meet again. That is oh, that's Behold, the the black mortal, the blade. Second mortal blade. There it is, and I went looking for it. God damn it! Genichiro. If you think you can change Ashina's fate with such a thing. You are mistaken. So that's why his arm was so black. No one has the right to the dragon's heritage. It is no one's to bear. I wish there was another way. He stabbed the little kid. It's all right. I'm gonna kill him. For good this time. One last time. Indeed, one last time, because this is the third time we actually killed. Well, tried to yes. kill. He even still Let's has the wound. This. Let's finish this. Ooh, and he still probably has lightning attacks. I'm gonna have to be ready for this. I will restore Ashina to glory. Okay. Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Oh wow, okay. Oh, 
There we go. Out of the way. And there we go. And up. Daisy. So I can't jump jump that, okay. Whoo! Resurrect and heal. There we go. I can't jump on top of him when he does that. Okay. I dodged out of the way of that one. I think I have him. There we go. There we go. That's the first one. Probably not going to be the last one. Ooh, okay. First bar down, but he's not down and out, because I didn't get to do a second stab there, but... In the end, I was powerless, but... Ashina will rise once more. The dragon blood surging through her veins. With this, Ashina's long night comes to an end. He's gonna kill himself. <gasps> oh! <laughs> He's gonna turn into something. Great. Demon. Ooh. That was a noise. Oh. Pitiful grandchild, this was your last wish. Is that Ishin? Grandchild, yeah, that's definitely Ishin. Ugh. Ah, oh, stop with the noises. To see Ashina return from the great beyond. Wow, this is freaking great. Hello, Ishin. Which means Sekiro. He just crawled out of his neck. Woo. He has three bars, by the way. That was a... Got him there. Oh, that was a sweep, okay. No, 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 no. You will not Ishimonji me. That's a sweep again, okay. There we go. Ah, uh, tried to dodge him, but come on, resurrect his bar is coming back. Woo! That's the dragon stuff. Yeah. Okay. Indeed, he is completely correct. Hesitation is defeat. Okay, so this is gonna be pure tenacity. Position has three bars, so this is gonna suck. And of course, we need to do Genichiro again. Almost have him. There we go. What a Mickey encounter. So that goes by rather quickly. I'm not gonna watch that again. Oh. Ow. 
and it killed me. Okay, so that sweep is gonna be annoying. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, got him. There we go. That's the first one. One down. Oh, oh, I'm gonna. Oh no. Oh, I hate that weapon. Did he just use a fucking gun? I'm out of out of everything now. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Ooh, that weapon is sucky balls. But yeah, that was the second phase. Trying to combo with the prosthetic tool a bit, but. There we go. And I'm gonna have to move back because I know he's gonna start doing the whirly whirly gig. I already faced you, I stabbed you in the back. Come on, buddy. That sweep every every time the sweep. Nope. Come on, get, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. And I tried to dodge out of the way. There we go, in the back. Ah, oh, that backhanded sweep. Yeah, and I'm dead. Probably shouldn't have wasted that resurrection on this. And I can't dodge because I'm stunned. No overpowered weapons is victory. Whoa, he just... Wait, what the, the fuck did he just do? And I died. I hate it that you can get on your ass without your posture being broken. I mean, Genichiro is a nuisance at this point. Just be really aggressive and he goes down like a chump. Similarly to how this face actually first goes. There we go. I think I got him. Yeah, there we go. But now... Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's not how walking works, by the way. But uh, I'm gonna die.
There we go. Oh god. Ah, oh, what? I think I have him. There we go. But I don't know what the next phase is gonna be like. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Ooh, damn. Call them back. Oh no. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, okay. I mean the hitbox on that is ridiculous because it doesn't even hit me. You can't pull it back that far, so. Finally, hit my ass three times in a row, but there we go. Oh, for fuck's sake, I had him. There we go. Area of effect on this. Will you please? Okay. Oh god. What? Since when do you do a sweep on that one?
There we go. That's a final phase. Oh, yeah. Back and back and back and back and back. Jesus Christ. Just gonna move back a bit to get my pusher back. There we go, got the Mickey counter in the... Oh, that was bullshit. The A of effect on that. Here we go. Oh god, no. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it the lazy way. There we go. Here we go, die you bitch. <laughs> and the final one. Oh, oh fuck. Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, I thought he blocked it. I thought he blocked it, but that was over the belly. No, no, don't do anything else now, you big fucking disappear. There we go. Decapitate him. Lamo. Oh, drop it. Oh, why doesn't the head drop? Farewell, Ishin. Holy shit, that was a fight. Immortality severed. Sword Saint Ishin Ashin held down. Holy crap, that was a fight with four phases. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Whew. At his peak, Ishin Ashina devoted himself to deadly conflict in pursuit of strength, a single-minded killing machine of a man. And then the Dragon Flash. Why am I getting attacks? Charged to send out shockwaves. In, in his younger years, Ishin was a devil with a sword, spending his days in pursuit of life or death combat. He often ruminated on how a cut should be made, but his blade always moved first. Okay. And that is that, I suppose. Should we get another skill point for that? Maybe even two? No. One and a half. And there's a beam of light over there. So I'm guessing this is gonna be the end of the game. I have nothing left, by the way. No pallets, no healing gourds. That was on the edge of my seat and everything else. So, I suppose, let's finish this. And Cure is still lying on the ground. How many times have we trampled this poor boy? Kneel before the diviner. Here we go. Give Divine Dragon Steers. Yeah, we did a lot for those. I'm gonna give them to them. I am at your side. Take the Dragon Tears. Goodbye, Kiro.
for the dragon's blood to go away. We need to kill Kiro. God damn, this game is hard. My sworn shinobi. Oh, shut up. Now. Sever these ties of immortality. Oh, he's holding the blade in the same way Sekiro did at the beginning. Wow. Okay. Never mind, we just killed the child. <laughs> and there we go. The circle is uh, complete. Sekiro turns into the sculptor. And we have Emma in the background. Damn. I think it is best that you have this. Th didn't I already have that? No doubt, the day will come. When a shinobi arrives, seeking strength. <laughs> Is that supposed to be then the complete loop? Immortal Severance, there we go. Silver trophy. But the ending. So, we kind of didn't change anything again. Typical Dark Souls. Well, typical from software, the cycle just keeps going. Because I think in every game you can technically just continue the cycle. So Dark Souls you can always just relight the first flame. In Bloodborne you can take German's place. Or just let everything keep going. It's only when you kill the Moon Presence that you actually change anything. And in here you could probably do a lot of other things. Which we didn't do, especially with the, uh, the Snake Hearts. To get a different ending than this, but clearly Immortal Severance just keeps the loop going. Another divine air will be created at Senpai Temple, and this thing just keeps on going. So we didn't actually change anything by doing this, which is weird because we felt like this was going to be the path that actually changed everything, but it didn't. Um, great game, great game. Again, it's a bit shorter, I think, than the other From Software games, a bit smaller in scope because uh, you return to a lot of areas, so I think. It's definitely smaller, but it was really, really interesting the way the exploration was done again. Just the, the way of discovering a lot of things. I'm sure I didn't do everything. I did get all the prosthetic tools and all the ninjutsu techniques, but I didn't find all the gourd seeds, so I missed one, I think. And I'm assuming I didn't do all the boss fights, probably because some of the boss fights might differ depending on the choices you made, especially with Owl at a certain point. Uh, but otherwise, very, very nice game. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I've been sweating my ass off in here because it's, uh, as I said at the beginning of this, well, this particular recording, probably in the middle of this episode somewhere, it's 40 degrees outside, 40 degrees Celsius, that is. And yeah, I'm just gonna do something else now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna let the credits run out and if there's anything behind this, you'll see that as well as usual. So thank you guys enormously for watching this entire series and I'll see you in the next series which will probably be Prey. So look forward to that and I'll see you guys in that next series. Goodbye!
So maybe to end this off with, we have the memory of Saint Ishin. You can check that out right now. So let's see what this says. One who returns from the great beyond also does so at the peak of their prosperity. Ishin coveted strength and all manner of techniques throughout this mortal struggle and he wished for war until his final hour and that's precisely what he got. So that's what actually happened with the, because we read about the black mortal blade, it opens up a gateway to the underworld, which is how, well, since Genichiro slashed his own neck, that opened up a gateway to the underworld and through which Saint Ishin could actually go through, Ishin could actually go through. And he was at the peak of his prosperity, so at the peak of his youth, which is why he was so strong. So, uh, I'm with that. I think we can actually end it. I just checked the trophy list and I did actually do pretty much all of the boss fights I could have done in this single playthrough with this ending. There are actually four endings and I might do a video on uh, the other ones, but that won't be anytime soon. So thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next series. So thank you guys again for all the support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.